Well, hey, what's up? Welcome back. Happy New Year. In this video, I'm going to review uh, my 2019 goals, how I did with them, and talk about some goals that I have for 2020. As I'm reviewing these 2019 goals and how I did, I want you to remember that it's very important to set big goals and push yourself. If you're not setting big goals and pushing yourself, what's the point? This year, I threw out some big stuff. Some of it I accomplished, some of it I didn't. One of the biggest reasons why I wasn't able to hit some of my goals was because I was presented with some amazing opportunities to work on some documentaries. I traveled all over, went out to Western States, Bigfoot 200, Tahoe 200, Moab 240. I was able to see Washington, Utah, California. I had an amazing time traveling to all these places and it really helped me grow as a person. It helped me grow as a filmmaker. So keep in mind, it's important to set really big goals and try to stay on track. But if you're presented with other opportunities that are gonna help you grow personally or help your brand grow, jump on it. And that's one thing that I did this year. So you're gonna hear about that a little bit in this video. And that's one of the reasons why some of these things with YouTube and podcasts and social media didn't hit the numbers that I was going for but I'm okay with that because this year was amazing. I think one of the biggest things I did in 2019 for this channel, my brand, it wasn't even on the list of goals in 2019 because I hadn't identified it as a thing I needed to do, but that was create my company. Under the umbrella of this Ryan Clayton Productions is all of my professional film work, my YouTube stuff, podcast, uh, audio contracting, and my coaching business. So all of it is under one umbrella right now. And that was a really big deal. Starting a company is hard. The information is not just out there to go get, like you have to piece together a lot of different things depending on what country you're in and then what state. As I was presented with all these opportunities this year, it became clear that I needed to separate family finances and business finances. It's so much better now that we have different bank accounts, different credit cards, insurance, all of that. It's separate. Didn't really know that I needed to do that exactly a year ago, but it's done. I'm proud of it and I have a legit company now. All right, so let's talk about 2019 goals and how I did with them. Uh, I'm only gonna spend about one minute on this because I would rather focus most of this video on what's coming in 2020. All right, so the first goal I had for 2019 was to upload 50 videos to this channel. How did I do? I didn't meet that goal. I uploaded 29. And that seems like it might be a big failure, but I'm actually totally okay with that because of all the other opportunities that I was able to get this year. A lot of these other opportunities is why I wasn't uploading as many videos to this YouTube channel. And I feel like I had to explore these other opportunities in 2019. So second goal, upload 25 podcasts. Missed this one by a lot, only uploaded nine. Uh, gonna try to do a lot better in 2020 with this one. So the third goal was to put together a longer form documentary video. And I definitely succeeded in this. Uh, Univet hired me to go out to Western States and film Camille Heron as she attempted to run 100 miles out there from Squaw to Auburn. I'm very proud of that film, it was a big success. Thank you all for watching it. If you haven't seen it, it's linked down below. Fourth goal of last year was to run 2,000 miles. Missed that by a lot. I only ran 1,003 miles. Uh, had a couple injuries this year, you know, still dealing with plantar fasciitis, but then had IT band syndrome and then tore cartilage in my ankle. Had a rough year of running, but looking to turn that around. Fifth goal, this one was kind of like a big stretch, and I think that you should put goals out there that are going to stretch you. This one was write a book. and. I did not finish the book, but I have the outline and I've got a lot of information for all the chapters and I've been doing a lot of research to put it together. Very excited to continue working on that this year. And some of the other initiatives that I had were to film more races. I was able to get out to a couple more races and film specifically OPSF, which was awesome. That video is also linked down below. I wanted to start live streaming. I did it once. I'm gonna start doing that a lot more this year. I wanted to take on more coaching clients. Definitely did that. And I wanted to collaborate more with other YouTubers. That hasn't happened yet specifically on this channel, but I've made a lot of friends through this channel. There's actually a couple YouTubers out there that I have plans to make videos with coming soon. Okay, so that's 2019. It's gone, it's done. Can't do anything about the goals that I didn't hit. All I can do is focus on 2020. And these goals aren't in order of importance, but the first one is that I want to run 2,000 miles. It's the same goal as last year. I think I can hit it this year. I'm coming into the year healthy. I've got a couple 50 mile weeks behind me already in December. I'm feeling really good about this goal. Second goal of 2020 is that I wanna qualify for the lotteries for Hard Rock and Western States by mid-year 
2020. I don't want to have a repeat of 2019 where late in the fall, I'm stressing out about getting a qualifier. I just don't want to repeat that. So I want to have that over by mid year. Third goal, and this is the one that's going to push me a little bit, is that I want to form an online running team, a place where we can come and encourage each other and a place where I can provide coaching resources on a more casual basis where maybe you're not ready to hire me as a coach, but you just want to be in a group and be able to ask questions and just get some advice from others that have been through it. Maybe you're new to ultra running, maybe you're trying to run your first marathon, and I'm really excited to put this together because I think that this is going to be a really cool place for a lot of us to come together. Fourth goal for 2020, and it's kind of a repeat, but a little bit of a step up from last year is that I want to put together 50 quality videos for YouTube. And then in between those, I wanna have a lot more casual uploads, like things where I'm just sitting in front of the camera for like five minutes and talking, just kind of reviewing my training, things like that. My baseline goal is 50 videos for this year, but I'd really like to see it a lot higher, 75 or 100. That's really gonna push me a lot but I'm ready to make it happen. Fifth goal is that I wanna to continue to invest in the podcast. So again, 25 podcasts for this year, that's my goal. Okay, so how am I gonna make this happen? The first thing I'm gonna focus on is doing more of what I wanna do on YouTube and social media. I think there's a lot of people out there giving a lot of advice, there's a lot of people with great examples, but I want in 2020 to trust myself and do what I think is right, put videos together that I am proud of, and just get out there more, put more stuff up, be more open about things, not stress out so much about is this Instagram picture perfect or is this video exactly made right. I just wanna get more stuff out there. And I wanna work more on my personal brand and less on other brands. And that's not to say that I don't wanna do sponsored content, there definitely will be because I believe that that helps you guys see products and that helps me, it helps this channel, it helps pay for things. But I want to focus a whole lot more on having diverse product reviews. More shoe reviews, there's gonna be more watch reviews, there's gonna be more nutrition reviews. I want to kind of just step away from really pushing one or two brands and just kind of like be a little bit more out there. I wanna to continue to be transparent with you guys. I've never uploaded a video and not told you if I'm being paid for it or if it's sponsored in any way or if I got the product for free. I'm gonna to continue to be transparent with that for you guys because I think that's very important when you're listening to someone's opinions online. They gotta be transparent. Okay, so that's it. 2019 was great, but it's time to move on to 2020. I've got some big goals and I can't wait to get working on them. I wanna hear what yours are too, so leave a comment down below and let me know. Love to have a conversation about them. Thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for watching. We got big stuff for 2020. Let's go.